And welcome back to Los Angeles and this special edition of today. You know, as the world gets ready to pay tribute to Michael Jackson, there are still so many questions about his death. And Jeff Rawson has been following that investigation. He's here with the very latest. Good morning to you, Jeff. Hey, good morning to you, Meredith. Good to see you here in Los Angeles. And you know, it's been nearly two weeks since Michael Jackson died. Hard to believe. 12 days to be exact. And here we are, public memorial about to start behind uh, me here. The private memorial, uh, the service happened this morning. We still don't know officially what caused Michael Jackson's death. And so this morning, we want to take a closer look at that drug investigation, where it's been and where it's going. We have a gentleman here that needs help and he's not breathing yet. From that moment, the clock is running. Day one, Jackson is rushed to UCLA Medical Center and fans flock there. Police swarm Jackson's rented mansion in Holmby Hills and the family compound in Encino. My brother, the legendary king of pop, Michael Jackson, passed away on Thursday, June 25th. 2009 at 2.26 p.m. Jackson's body is flown to the L.A. County Coroner's Office. And on day two, the revelation. Well, we know he was taking some prescription medications. Suddenly, Michael Jackson's secret world is exposed and everyone is listening. Detectives question Dr. Conrad Murray, Jackson's personal physician who was there. They impound his sister's car for evidence. We are still actively uh, trying to assess whether or not any uh, prescription uh, or other medications were involved. NBC News has now confirmed Dr. Murray is not licensed to dispense medication of any kind in the state of California. His lawyer continues to deny any wrongdoing here. Will you come over and talk to us? Day five, investigators find bottles and bottles of prescription drugs inside Jackson's home. NBC News has now learned one of those drugs was the anesthetic propofol, also known as Diprovan, so strong it's used only in hospitals. On day eight, this video is released, showing Jackson at one of his final rehearsals. The DEA joins the investigation, and by day nine, so does the California Attorney General. We have to look for aliases, and we have to find out what other names there might be. Now, according to published reports, authorities are focused on five doctors who supply Jackson with the drugs that may have killed him. It's going to ruin a lot of people's lives. John Nazarian is a seasoned investigator who's worked high-profile cases, including the death of Anna Nicole Smith. And I think you're going to see some head spinning really fast here. I don't think it's going to take a year. I don't think it's going to take months. I think you're going to be seeing some serious, serious repercussions in weeks. Criminal charges. Absolutely. Important to note here, many of the pill bottles that police found inside of Jackson's rented mansion in Holmby Hills, California, didn't have any labels on them, and the bottles that did have labels had other people's names. So what police are trying to do right now, aggressively, is try to pin each bottle with a doctor, with a pharmacy. And once they do that, Meredith, they believe they can start filing criminal charges, but that has not happened yet. All right, Jeff Rawson, thank you very much. Now we're going to head over to Forest Lawn Cemetery, where we understand the Jackson family has just arrived for a private gathering.